All right, folks, it's time to do another inquiry. This is episode 32, Intruder Alert, which someone actually did kind of tell me a little bit of a spoiler. They showed it, and I'm like, no, no, don't do it. But now we can actually talk about it. So here's the first little bit before commercial break. Let's hopefully I can do this before it starts. So they actually had the balls that you space sheriff Gavin. Oh my God, no! And you, you're like, oh well, you're telling me the same guys who did Ninja Steel didn't actually use this samurai guy. Actually, this ninja guy, they didn't use him. And then yet they decide to use the, 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 the oh what the hell man oh what the hell so basically they got a transmission which I forgot which episode they got it from but apparently they got a message saying be careful of Rye Star he's dangerous news and well apparently there's a kind of a proximity breach and it looks like it was. I don't know the name of him, but they believe that he's the right star and they were shooting at him, even though it's like, yeah, you can't really understand him. It's like as if Bumblebee showed up over there and Bumblebee can't speak because his voice was horror and it's dead. It's like, no, no, no. Let's see. Um, I would say steel should be able to actually figure his out what he's saying, but apparently not. And he's like, Oh, Nate, you understand him, right? I'm like, Steel should understand him, though. <laughs> you kind of should understand him. So it's like, it's weird where it's like, yeah, so he was powering up something. He had to teleport away. We get to see the real Rise Star, and he showed up with the bad guys and saying, hey, well, I'm looking for weapons from great warriors. And apparently he wants to break into the... It's a vault. It's not a storage unit. Apparently it's a vault. And it's like, oh, thank goodness. But still, um, they don't have an underlocking key or the scanning thing like I said in the previous inquiry messed the fuck up so basically he's going to try to do that and he got vargoil back and now he has a freaking shock collar on him and well they're planning to actually double cross so as soon as rystar gets all the weapons there he's gonna get double crossed and fricked over that's what that's what villains do but anyways we get back to what's going on and they sign ben and betty to do this freaking security system we're talking about these guys you have them fixing a vr set which most likely was been with um betty's help they've been all by himself fixed a projector game and they created this gadget gun that actually does lots of it shoots lots of clothes out and you're telling me that their brilliance that they showed in a few episodes decided to be like <laughs> and instead they stole from home alone movie and they created this the freaking security system of the freaking um marbles are you freaking kidding me <laughs> and that's what freaking and, the, and of course it didn't stop the freaking um I'm going to call him Space Sheriff Gavin for right now. But he didn't stop him teleporting there. And it's like, my goodness, why Why you guys are making them stupid? They seem brilliant, but you made them stupid. All right, so another commercial. So, oh, boy, their face were red when they actually went against Ryjack, which, oh, well, he's Ryjacked in the who we have in the locked in our cell. Yeah, they did capture him when he went in there and almost got the thing. So... They went to go against Ryjack. Ryjack shot down uh, Zoe and Ravi. So he he shot down them both. So now they have some toxic issue. Now one crazy part has to be the fact of he was able to summon putties and I forgot who Sledge's minions is called. And it's like, what the hell? Yeah, it's like it's just nodding to the crossover coming soon. It's like, oh, that's cool. But it's like, how did that work? I know for Dino Charge, he's able to get that easily. As for what's going on with um the putties, that's impossible. That's kind of impossible unless somehow Finster jumped ship and somehow saved himself, which we don't know what happened to Fencer. We have no idea what happened to Babu, and we have no idea what happened to Squat. Yeah, they just ditched as soon as just like, oh, they're married now. Let's get the fuck out of here. 
<laughs> man but still we have no idea so no idea how exactly mm -hmm. so with that said wow it's kind of a blast from the past to see the putties holy frick so they had to he had they actually had to retreat for now and they eventually went to and it turns out him he is a galactic police officer named chaku so it's like oh well I guess that's kind of cool. They didn't screw him over that badly, so that's that's nice. He's like, oh, yeah, just like in The Simpsons, where it's like, yeah, Homer, meet my mother and father. And he's like, oh, that wasn't embarrassing at all. Oh, oh, thank goodness. It's like, same deal. It's like, oh, thank goodness they didn't actually name him something, something new. Instead, they just did something decent, which I'm like, Chiplin did that. <laughs> Chiplin did that 100%. Come on, it was him. <laughs> uh, let's see, anything else? So now since he was able to refuel himself because that's what he was doing, he needed to recharge himself. Now we have the crazy part of now they have to make a race to saving Ravi and Zoe, which they don't use the chambers that they use for Blaze and Roxy, which they're not, they didn't restore them yet. I guess they need a lot more morphics. So yeah, they're not restored yet. So they kind of actually have two men down at this point. But yeah, they actually have some messed up disease thanks to the Rijak's freaking middle horn blast. Anyways, let's see what happens next, shall we? All right, let's end this inquiry, shall we? So basically now we have... Scrozzle sent a Giga Drone, so we had Nate and Steel to deal with that. Meanwhile, we have Devin and Aptin Chaku dealing with. Let me just change this. My gosh, stupid T Titans go. Anyways, yeah, we had Chaku dealing with um, Vargoyle, which is kind of funny. So they deal with Vargoyle, and the caller apparently is able to get slashed off, and now he's free. He's like, Yes, I'm free. See you later, suckers. And it's like, No Murfex dang so they took out all the minions and they actually had to do a chase to get Vargoyle and Vargoyle of course got defeated and of course the Giga Drone got defeated as soon as all that happened then well luckily Ravi and Zoe recovered they actually had a good discussion of yeah good to get friends good to have new allies and stuff and of course we already know the mission of Captain Chaku here is to take down Rai, Rai Jack, who is notorious, you know, notorious um, intergalactic jerk bag. <laughs> so then we have Ben and Betty interrupting him, like, oh, good lord. Well, finally, they showed the brilliant side of him. Good job. But because it's supposed to be, ha ha, funny, funny, which I would prefer they would have done. Uh, uh, anyways, let's just go with it. So, they decided to make new badges for the new system where if you don't have any badges, it will lasso you. It'll rope you down to where you can actually do anything. Okay. Then everyone except for Ben and Betty didn't have one and everyone got shot. And of course the commander's like, good work, which I'm like, good, but hindsight you guys are still kind of a little bit idiots brilliant but idiots it's just the fact of they don't have the badges but what does everyone have <gasps> the risk communicators like i said in the previous video yes they could have used the freaking risk communicators and as long as you have one of those it wouldn't do it but of course you know they have to do haha -ha, funny funny but it's like yeah but it kind of shows that they're brilliant but they oversight too damn much. So, of course, to make it a ha ha funny would just be the fact of, yeah, um, Captain Chaku would get freaking attacked, which I would have preferred where it's like, yeah, you just have multiple freaking things that actually happen to, to Captain Chaku here, even though that would be messed the freak up. But hey, you want to be funny, so I guess it kind of works. Where it's like, yeah, so they're not that stupid. And they got their funny, I guess. But instead, no, everyone has to be taken down and roped in. Ha, ha that's funny. Which is like, yeah, smart move, but 
you guys worked so hard to get the risk communicator some episodes ago. So why can't you remember that you everyone has a risk communicator instead of now you have to give everyone a freaking damn badge now? Yeah, that seems pretty stupid. But the episode itself was pretty good. They surprised me with the whole they didn't screw over space Sheriff Gavin. Nope, now he is Captain Chaku. I I can do with that. I'm fine with that. It's like, oh my gosh, you didn't wreck this crap. You didn't wreck it at all. Thank you. Thank you. And even though the first bit of Benny and Betty showed that they're idiots and they stole the idea from a movie, the second one showed that, yes, they are brilliant, but they still need to notice stuff. You know, they still need to actually figure that what does everyone have that's in the base that no one else does? The risk communicators. Yeah, but they didn't think that part. So, you know, they're brilliant, but they made an oversight like an idiot. It's, well, not really. It's just an oversight on their part. So, technically, it is a good job. They did do a good job. They just made it too over the top where it's like, yeah, now you have to make new badges for everyone. <laughs> well, I think we're not going to have an extra content because I don't think we need that, but... Yeah.